The Nature Conservancy (TNC) is a charitable environmental organization headquartered in Arlington, Virginia, United States. Its mission is to conserve the lands and waters on which all life depends. The conservancy pursues non-confrontational, pragmatic solutions to conservation's challenges working with partners including indigenous communities, businesses, governments, multilateral institutions, and other non-profits. The conservancy's work focuses on the global priorities of lands, water, climate, oceans, and cities. Founded in Arlington, Virginia, in 1951, the Nature Conservancy now impacts conservation in 72 countries, including all 50 states of the United States. The Conservancy has over 1 million members, and has protected more than 119 million acres 48 million hectares of land and thousands of miles of rivers worldwide. The Nature Conservancy also operates more than 100 marine conservation projects globally. The organization's assets total $6.71 billion as of 2015. The Nature Conservancy is the largest environmental non profit by assets and by revenue in the Americas. The Nature Conservancy rates as one of the most trusted national organizations in Harris Interactive polls every year since 2005. Forbes magazine rated the Nature Conservancy's fundraising efficiency at 88% in its 2005 survey of the largest U.S. charities. The Conservancy received a three-star rating from Charity Navigator in 2016 three star in 2015. The American Institute of Philanthropy gives the Conservancy a B-plus rating and includes it on its list of «top-rated charities». The Nature Conservancy is led by CEO Mark Turchek, a former managing director at Goldman Sachs. Brian McPeak, president of the Nature Conservancy since May 2018, resigned his position on May 31, 2019 after an internal report on sexual harassment in the organization became public, reported Politico. The Nature Conservancy's chief scientist is Australian Hugh Possingham, who was named to this position in 2016. The current board chairman is Craig McCaw. Other current members include Bill Frist, Jack Ma, and Thomas J. Tierney. History The Nature Conservancy developed out of a scholarly organization known as the Ecological Society of America The ESA was founded in 1915 and two years later formed a Committee on Preservation of Natural Areas for Ecological Study, headed by Victor Shelford. Whereas the society primarily focused on promoting research, in the course of the 1930s Shelford and his colleagues increasingly sought to advocate for conservation. The divide in viewpoints regarding scholarship or advocacy led the society to dissolve the committee, and, in 1946, Shelford and his colleagues formed the Ecologists' Union. The latter group eventually took the name, the Nature Conservancy in emulation of the British agency of that name, which pursued a mission of conserving open space and wildlife preserves. The Nature Conservancy was incorporated in the United States as a non-profit organization on October 22, 1951. Topic approach The Nature Conservancy takes a scientific approach to conservation, setting goals that describe the results it wants to achieve for biodiversity. The Nature Conservancy sets both long-term and near-term goals for conserving the abundance and geographic distribution of critical species and ecological systems. The organization's overall goal is to ensure the long-term survival of all biodiversity on Earth. The Nature Conservancy works with all sectors of society, including businesses, individuals, communities, partner organizations, and government agencies to achieve its goals. The Nature Conservancy is known for working effectively and collaboratively with traditional land owners such as farmers and ranchers, with whom it partners when such a partnership provides an opportunity to advance mutual goals. The Nature Conservancy is in the forefront of private conservation groups implementing prescribed fire to restore and maintain healthy ecosystems and working to address the threats to biodiversity posed by non native and invasive plants and animals. The Nature Conservancy has pioneered new land preservation techniques such as the conservation easement and debt for nature swaps. A conservation easement is a way for landowners to ensure that their land remains in its natural state while capitalizing on some of the land's potential development value. 
Debt for nature swaps are tools used to encourage natural area preservation in third world countries while assisting the country economically as well. In exchange for setting aside land, some of the country's foreign debt is forgiven. The Conservancy believes that the private sector has an important role to play in advancing its conservation mission. The organization works to help businesses make better decisions, understand the value of nature, and ultimately protect it. Among the companies it works with are, 3M, 3M Foundation, Alcoa Foundation, Amazon Smile, AT&T, Avon, Bank of America, Barrick Gold, BHP Billiton, Cargill, Inc., Caterpillar, Caterpillar Foundation, The Coca-Cola Company, Delta Air Lines, Discovery Channel, North America, Disney, The Dow Chemical Company, FEMSA, General Mills, Goldman Sachs, Harley-Davidson, IBM, JP Morgan Chase & Co., Lowe's, Lowe's Charitable and Educational Foundation, Microsoft Microsoft, Oracle, Patagonia, PepsiCo Recycle for Nature, Swiss Re, UPS, Whole Foods Market. Topic featured project sites The Nature Conservancy's expanding international conservation efforts include work in North America, Central America, and South America, Africa, the Pacific Rim, the Caribbean, and Asia. Increasingly, the Conservancy focuses on developing global solutions at the intersection of nature's and people's needs. The solutions are areas where it aims to develop specific strategies and link them to its place-based work at the system scale. Below are a few examples of such work. The Nature Conservancy was instrumental in the creation in 2004 of the Great Sand Dunes National Park in Colorado. The Conservancy's efforts in China's Yunnan Province, one of the most vital centers of plant diversity in the northern temperate hemisphere, serve as a model for locally based ecotourism with a global impact. The Nature Conservancy and its conservation partner, Pronatura Peninsula Yucatan, are working to halt deforestation on private lands in and around the 1.8 million acre Calicmil Biosphere Reserve, along the Guatemala–Mexico border. In November 2004, 370,000 acres 1, square kilometers of threatened tropical forest in Calakmul were permanently protected under a historic land deal between the Mexican federal and state government, Pronatura Peninsula Yucatan, four local communities, and the Conservancy. The Nature Conservancy's programs in Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming are working together to build partnerships and enhance the profile of the conservation needs in the greater Yellowstone ecosystem by supporting voluntary private land conservation of important wildlife habitat. In 2007, the Nature Conservancy made a 161,000-acre purchase of New York Forestland from Finch Paper Holdings LLC for $110 million, its largest purchase ever in that state. In June 2008, the Nature Conservancy and the Trust for Public Land announced they reached an agreement to purchase approximately 320,000 acres (1,300 square kilometers) of western Montana forestland from Plum Creek Timber Company for $510 million. The purchase, known as the Montana Legacy Project, is part of an effort to keep these forests in productive timber management and protect the area's clean water and abundant fish and wildlife habitat, while promoting continued public access to these lands for fishing, hiking, hunting and other recreational pursuits. As a follow-on, in 2015 the Nature Conservancy made a $134 million transaction to purchase 165,073 acres to 257 square miles, of forests, rivers and wildlife habitat in the Cascade Mountain Range of Washington and in the Blackfoot River Valley in Montana. The Conservancy also acquired this land from Plum Creek, including 47,921 acres in the Yakima River headwaters in Washington and 117,152 acres in the Lower Blackfoot River watershed in Montana. In December 2015, the Nature Conservancy announced the finalization of the first ever debt swap in Seychelles aimed at ocean conservation. The new protected area increases the country's marine protected waters from less than 1% to more than 30% including support for the creation of the second largest marine protected area in the Western Indian Ocean. The debt swap deal was made possible through a partnership with the Seychelles Ministry of Finance, support of debt holding nations including France, and grants from private organizations led by the Leonardo DiCaprio Foundation. Financing for this effort was organized by the Nature Conservancy's impact investing unit called Naturevist. 
Naturevist was created in 2014 with founding sponsorship from JP Morgan Chase & Co., with the stated goal of sourcing and putting to work at least $1 billion of impact investment capital for measurable conservation outcomes over three years. For their work on the Seychelles debt restructuring, the Nature Conservancy and JP Morgan Chase were given the FT, ITC Transformational Business Award for Achievement in Transformational Finance The award is given by the Financial Times and the World Bank's International Finance Corporation for groundbreaking, commercially viable solutions to development challenges. Plant a Billion Trees campaign The Nature Conservancy's Plant a Billion Trees campaign is an effort to restore 2,500,000 acres 10,100 square kilometers of land and plant 1 billion trees by 2025 in the Atlantic Forest of Brazil. Each donated dollar results in one planted tree in the Atlantic Forest. <laughs> environmental benefits The Plant a Billion Trees campaign has also been identified as a tool to help slow climate change, as the Atlantic Forest, one of the biggest tropical forests in the world, helps regulate the atmosphere and stabilize global climate. The reforestation of the Atlantic Forest has the capability to remove 10 million tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere every year. The Nature Conservancy states that this is equivalent to taking 2 million cars off the road. The Atlantic Forest's restoration could help to slow the process of climate change that is affecting the Earth. The Nature Conservancy's Plant a Billion Trees campaign also aims to protect 10 critical watersheds in the Atlantic Forest that provide water and hydro power to more than 70 million people, create 20,000 direct jobs, and an additional 70,000 indirectly as part of this effort. The Plant a Billion Trees campaign is also associated with the Nature Conservancy's Adopt an Acre program, which consists of nine locations, including Brazil. <laughs> Involvement in the community The Nature Conservancy also features e-cards from the Atlantic Forest, as well as video of the Atlantic Forest and detailed information about the seedlings on their website. The website also features a news feed and an interactive map of the Atlantic Forest region in Brazil, as well as information on many of the plants, animals, and people that are impacted by the plight of the forest and who may benefit from its restoration. Tree planting The Nature Conservancy plants one tree in the Atlantic Forest of Brazil for each dollar donated by supporters. Some of the seeds being planted consist of Guapuruvu tree an indigenous plant of Atlantic Forest, this has one of the fastest growth rates of all the native species. Golden trumpet tree Handroanthus chrysotrichus According to popular belief, when this tree's yellow blooms appear, no more frosts will occur. The wood of a golden trumpet tree has the same fire rating as concrete and is denser than water. Illegal logging activity has grown due to this tree's growing popularity. Ice cream bean tree Ingera julis, leafy and abundant, this tree controls weeds and erosion. Its popular fruit is a long pod up to a few feet, containing a sweet pulp surrounding large seeds. Caporoca tree Birds like the rufous-bellied thrush enjoy the fruit off of this tree. History of the campaign The Nature Conservancy launched the Plant a Billion Trees campaign in 2008 with a microsite plantabillion.org that is affiliated but not hosted by the Nature Conservancy's website. As a part of this launch, the Nature Conservancy pledged to plant 25 million trees as part of the United Nations Environment Programme S Billion Tree Campaign. This campaign encourages individuals and organizations to plant their own trees around the world and record this action on the website as a tally. On Earth Day 2009, Disney Nature's film Earth debuted, promising to plant a tree for every ticket sold to the film in its first week. This resulted in a donation of 2.7 million trees to the Plant a Billion Trees program.
Topic partnerships The Plant a Billion Trees campaign has followed the Nature Conservancy's approach of partnering with larger organizations such as Disney Nature, Planet Green, Penguin Books, Payless Shoe Source, AT&T, Disney Worldwide Conservation Fund, and Visa to leverage donations from supporters and increase efficiency and effectiveness of the campaign. Penguin Classics sponsored a Penguin Walk to benefit the Plant a Billion Trees campaign on June 6, 2009 as well. Payless Shoe Source sponsored the Plant a Billion Trees campaign by giving $1 to the Nature Conservancy for every Plant a Billion Trees reusable bag sold between April 13, 2009, and December 31, 2009 sold at a retail value of $1.99 and $1 from each Zoe and Zach branded product sold between April 13, 2009 and 5 April 2009. Payless guaranteed a minimum total contribution of $100,000 in 2009 from these sales and the sales of other merchandise during 2009. Panasonic has been involved by planting a tree for each customer who selects the Nature Conservancy in its Giving Back program. Organic Bouquet donated 10% for every flower and gift purchased during the month of April 2008 at www.organicbouquet.com slash nature. The Nature Conservancy and its scientists also work with other conservation organizations, local landowners, state and federal officials, agencies, and private companies to protect, connect, and buffer what is left of the Atlantic Forest. Criticism Over the years, the Nature Conservancy has faced a number of criticisms. They fall into the following main categories. <laughs> Nearness to big business The Nature Conservancy has ties to many large companies, including those in the oil, gas, mining, chemical and agricultural industries. Its board of directors currently includes the retired chairman of Duke Energy, and executives from Merck, HP, Google and several financial industry groups. It also has a business council which it describes as a consultative forum that includes Bank of America, BP America, Chevron, Coca-Cola, Dow Chemical, Duke Energy, General Mills, Royal Dutch Shell, and Starbucks. The organization faced criticism in 2010 from supporters for its refusal to cut ties with BP after the Gulf oil spill. Writer and activist Naomi Klein has strongly criticized the Nature Conservancy for earning money from an oil well on land it controls in Texas. Klein has also criticized the Nature Conservancy and other large environmental NGOs in an article by The Nation for their continued engagement with fossil fuel companies. Questionable resale There have been allegations of the Nature Conservancy obtaining land and reselling it at a profit, sometimes to supporters, who have then made use of it in ways which many perceived as being insufficiently environmentally friendly. The Nature Conservancy argues that the profit from such sales allows the Nature Conservancy to increase its preservation of what the Nature Conservancy claims are more important locations. The Conservancy has established a no-net-profit policy that has been in effect for years for all transactions of this type, and a policy of ensuring that its disbursements offset any illicitly generated revenues. Hunting Like many large environmental groups such as the Sierra Club and the World Wildlife Fund, the Conservancy has also been criticized for using hunting in its management policies. Retired General Norman Schwarzkopf, the commander of coalition forces during the First Gulf War, and a member of the President's Conservation Council of the Conservancy, was also a member of the trophy hunting organization the Safari Club International. Publication The organization publishes the Nature Conservancy magazine ISSN 1540-2428, six issues per year. See also